Hi, my name is Tracy, and today we will be discussing how to build a set of stairs, most importantly, how to build the stringers that help support the staircase themselves. First, we need to take note of the UBC codes. They are 7 and 3 quarters of an inch maximum riser height per step, 10 inch minimum tread depth per step, 6 foot 8 inch head height for the staircase and the ceiling, so you don't hit your head on the ceiling, and a 3 8 inch tolerance from the top of your staircase to the bottom of the staircase. Any more, and you might actually trip on your staircase. First off, if you can draw this on the wall next to where you're building, that might actually help you a lot. Or a piece of plywood, or on the floor. What we want to do is we want to measure from the top of our second floor to the top of our first floor. In this example, it will be 28 inches. Now, generally, you would just take 7 and 3 quarters and try to divide it into 28 to figure out how many steps you have but that will not work in this example. Also, it usually doesn't work in real life. So, as long as we use a number less than 7 and 3 quarters of an inch, we should be okay. For this example, the number will be 7. 7 can go into 28 four times, so we'll measure from the top of our second floor, down 7 inches, and make a mark. Down 7 inches again, down again, and one last time, which will be the top of our first floor. Now we know what our rise is. We need to figure out what our run is. We know we're going to have four steps. And we know there's a 10 inch minimum per step. So your stairs could be bigger if they needed to. In this example, they'll be 10 inches. So we'll go ahead and measure over 10 inches. 10 inches again, 10, and 10. There's our four steps. Now we'll create a triangle from the top of the second floor down to the last number, 40 inches for our our run. And now we're going to draw on our stringer. First imagine that you're standing on the second floor and you're stepping down onto your first step. It's 7 inches down and 10 inches over. It will connect to the triangle there. Then you go 7 inches down again, 10 inches over, 7 inches down again, 10 inches over, and then 7 down again onto the floor. Now. The stringer can be various sizes. In this case, we're just going to draw an arbitrary line. Hopefully you can see it there. If not, I will erase some of the hypotenuse to help. I also left the back reference line on in case you wanted to add a piece of wood to secure it to the second floor with. Similarly, you can use a hanger underneath the stringer to help support the staircase. Also, one more thing to remember is the finishes on the top of your steps. Whatever the distance of this finish is, and they will all be the same, you can remove from the bottom of your stringer, and that will keep the same distance between each step. Thank you. That is all I have today. I hope you enjoyed the video.